Hi everyone, my name is Tony and I'm your Ospinai Supermom. I'm very excited to share to you today the exercise program that was specially formulated by my exercise physiologist. My exercise physiologist is a professional who helps patients suffering from chronic illnesses. The main purpose of the exercise program is to strengthen the core of the body. So uh, this is for core strengthening. When we say core, this refers to the abdominal area of our body, as well as the back portion of our body and the muscles that surround the pelvis area of our body. And um, because of this um, core strengthening exercises, it will help you strengthen those muscles so you can be more active and be more physically strong. This exercise program is recommended to people suffering from chronic illnesses like fibromyalgia, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, gout. And I personally recommend this to people suffering from depression and anxiety because um, this will make you um, be more positive with your outlook and will motivate you to do more physically and be active and maintain a healthy lifestyle. So if you are interested in this exercise program, watch this. Here we go. There are several exercises in this program, but for a start, you can pick two or three exercises so your body can get used to the movements. You don't have to go to the gym to do these exercises. You can do these exercises at home and you don't also need gym equipment. First exercise is the squat. You can do this exercise with or without a bowl. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Gently squat down. As you squat, bend from your hips. Keep your back straight as you push your hips back. Your weight should be on your heels and not on your toes. It might help to image you're trying to sit down in a chair that is too far away from you. Do this in three sets of 10. Second is the bridge on the floor. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Tighten your buttock muscles and lift your hips up into the bridge position. Make sure you keep your hips up and level throughout the movement. But for proper positioning, you can put your arms on your side instead of what I was doing here. Do this in three sets of 10. Next is the lunge. Lunge straight down, bending both knees to 90 degrees, dropping your back knee towards the floor. Press back up and repeat this exercise. Make sure your front knee travels directly forwards over your toes. As you can see here, I was not bending my knees to 90 degrees, but this was after the initial assessment. After that, on the second session, I was asked to do it 90 degrees the way it was shown in this photo. Switch leg positions and do the same movements. Do this in three sets of five for each leg. Next is the plank. Lie on your front with your toes on the floor. Place your forearms on the floor and push up, lifting your torso and legs. Hold a straight line from your shoulders to your feet for as long as you can, preventing the back from sagging. Keep your buttocks squeezed and your hips level you will feel the core muscles working. And as I progressed in my exercise program, I've learned how to do this properly and longer. So that's good there. It's all right? Yeah. Head down slightly. There we go, head down slightly a little bit more. That's it. So now your back is in a neutral position. Is it straight? Yep maintaining the natural curves of your spine and I want you to go for as long as you can. Yeah, it's so difficult. Just keep breathing normally. Oh, 
I'll do it anyway. Keep going as long as you can. Next is the side planking. Lie on your side, propping yourself up on your elbow. Keep your legs straight and stacked on top of one another. Use your elbow and feel to push the body off the floor and maintain a straight line from your head to your feet. Hold this position for as long as you can, preventing the hips from sagging. Do this twice for 30 seconds on each side. Next is the shoulder press with weights. If you don't have any weights or dumbbells at home, you can use two empty water bottles on both sides. The shoulder press exercise strengthens the shoulder and back muscles, which are important for all daily activities. Stand upright with your chest out and shoulders pressed back. Holding a weight in both hands, drop your arms down to your side. Bend your elbows, bringing the weights up to your shoulders and then push them up above your head. If you need to, you can do this one arm at a time and be careful not to arch your back. Lower the weights back to your shoulders, then repeat the exercise as directed. For those who have knee pains or rheumatoid arthritis, it is better to bend your knees slightly while doing this so the weights of the dumbbells won't cause pressure on your knees. Do this in three sets of 12. Next is the quad stretch. Stand up straight close to a wall or supportive surface. Bend your knee on the affected leg, taking your heel towards your buttock. Hold on to the top of your foot with your hand and gently pull your heel closer in towards your buttock until you feel a stretch in the front of your thigh. Ensure you keep your knees together. Hold this position for 30 seconds and do this twice on each leg. Next is the hamstring stretch. Hamstring refers to the thigh muscles in between the knee and the hip. Lie on your back with a strap around the foot of your leg. You can use a towel or any cloth as a strap. Pull the knee in towards your chest. Then straighten the leg up towards the ceiling until you feel a stretch in the back of the thigh. Hold this position twice for 30 seconds for each leg. You can repeat this if desired. Next is the back squeeze. You can use here a resistance band or a thick carter. This is a simple exercise of pulling movement. Attach your resistance band or garter to something stable. Whenever you pull, make sure you squeeze your back muscles. This exercise is intended to strengthen your upper back muscles as well as your neck muscles. And the last but not the least is one of my favorites and this is the vertical push-up. You can do this by copying these movements illustrated by yours truly and my exercise physiologist. So, are you good to whip Okay. And that's it! That's the exercise program that you can easily do at home for core strengthening to keep yourself fit and healthy. If you want to keep in touch with me, send me a message at Lovely Mom and Beyond Facebook page. See ya!